Uh, my name is Nick Streaker and I'm a Trent XRV flight test engineer. I've worked on the Trent XRV for around six years now. Five years of that has been based on site with Airbus. Uh, the first few years were on the Airbus test benches, integrating the first FADEC units, and then I moved to the flight test campaign, so there's both the A380 flying test bed, and now the, we've just come into the end of the A350 full aircraft certification program. The, uh, the main challenges I faced were first coming to a new country, integrating to a new culture, learning a new language. That settled down quite quickly and after that it was very much as the programme accelerated, it was being challenged with some incredibly high customer expectations and being constantly asked to deliver under very difficult circumstances. But I think as a, as a team, a working team, Airbus and Rolls-Royce, we've delivered a very good product. So it's one of the main benefits of being a flight test engineer, the work is incredibly varied, but if we pick a, uh, an average flight test day, we're We'll start with a, an early pre-morning brief, flight test brief. We'll proceed to the flight and the content of the flight can be incredibly varied from anywhere from performance work to fault accommodation or even high or negative G maneuvers. We'll finish the flight, which can last anywhere up to 10 or 12 hours, often a lot shorter. But then we come back to Toulouse, we'll do a post-flight debrief, we'll do any, any engine inspections that we need to do and then we'll file a sort of post-flight report with our engineers teams back in Derby and that'll be it for the day. Uh, it's not hard to see the main motivation for a flight test engineer, working uh, with the final product, with the engine, the aircraft, in front of the customer. Um, it's all the motivation you need. You have the ability to directly influence the project and uh, yeah, it's incredibly rewarding.